Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss characteristics, challenges and applications of reinforcement learning. In the previous video, I have discussed introductory part of uh, reinforcement learning and also I have solved many examples with the Q-learning algorithm. The link for those videos is given in the description below. The very first uh, characteristics of uh, reinforcement learning is uh, sequential decision making. In this case, uh, there are different states are there. Uh, the robot is present in state number 9 and S6 is an obstacle, S8 is a danger and uh, this is the goal state over here. Now the agent has to go from S9 to this particular goal state. In this case, in reinforcement algorithm or a learning, the agent cannot go from this particular S9 to this particular goal state. That is not possible. He has to follow a path that is he has to go from either S9 to S10 and then to S11, S7 and then S3 and then finally to this particular goal state or else he has to follow some other path like uh, he has to go to S5, S1, S2, S3 and then finally to this particular goal state. So what actually happens in this case is uh, the decision making will be done sequentially that is step by step in this particular case. And any one uh, a mistake in this particular decision making may lead to a failure over here. For example, let us say that the agent has uh, come to this particular S7. Uh, when he is present in this particular S7, rather than making a decision to go to S3, if we make a decision to go to S8, the entire uh, the decision will go into uh, a failure state over here. So this is the very important uh, characteristic of uh, the reinforcement learning that is the uh, sequential decision making. The second one is uh, the actions whatever the agent performs they are interdependent for example let us assume that uh, the agent has performed an action over here like uh, the right action from s9 to s10 he will move so when he is present in this particular move uh, the whatever the action he can perform that depends on whatever the reward he has got in the previous case for example if he has got the uh, positive reward then he will continue in this particular path for example, in the previous case, if he has got the negative reward, he will continue or he will stop this particular path and then he will take some other path. The third characteristic of uh, reinforcement learning is uh, delayed feedback. So what actually happens in this case is uh, the rewards. You will get immediate rewards that is uh, for every action. But for, as a whole, that, uh, for that particular path, you may not get the reward immediately. So that is uh, whenever you go from uh, S9 to S10, you will get an immediate reward for this particular action. But if you want to get this particular final uh, reward, he has to go through this particular entire path. Once he reaches this particular uh, the goal state, then only he will get the, uh, uh, the overall uh, feedback or you can say that the reward for this particular path over here back to the next one uh, that is called as uh, time related of course uh, every uh, uh, action whatever the agent has performed that is a uh, time related for example when he is present in this particular state let us assume that the time is t and when he perform another action maybe uh, he will go up or right uh, the next time instance will be t plus one here and then if he perform one more action it will become t plus two and so on so all the actions whatever he is performing that is a uh, time related in this particular case now coming back to the challenges uh, of uh, reinforcement learning, the very first challenge the we will face when we design uh, a reinforcement uh, learning model is the uh, reward design. That is uh, when we try to uh, make a decision on uh, how to give a reward for each and every uh, action that is a very difficult task at the initial stage because uh, when it comes to uh, games like chess and all we know how actually that particular thing will work but there are a lot of uh, games or can say that the applications are there where we don't know how that particular uh, the game or the environment will work in such case it's very difficult to design a reward uh, strategy in this particular case <coughs> Uh, the second one is the absence of model again as I said earlier when it comes to chess we know that uh, there are this is a fixed board and we know the rules for that particular thing when it comes to any other games or uh, some real world application there is no fixed board as well as there were no fixed rules in that particular case so uh, because of this particular thing 
uh, again uh, simulating such kind of things is a very difficult task so what we need to do is we need to gather some experience over a period of time and then we need to use those particular uh, experience to design uh, reward as well as to come up with a final optimal path in that particular case the next uh, challenge is partial observability of uh, the states sometimes what happens is uh, the entire uh, environment may be visible or you can say that observable uh, sometimes it may not be visible uh, if it is uh, fully observable then there will not be any issue if it is not visible uh, like uh, let us say that you are trying to uh, use the reinforcement learning for weather forecast forecasting and all uh, if it is uh, uh, in, in many cases uh, you will not be able to see the entire uh, weather forecasting so in such cases it's very difficult to use uh, the reinforcement learning over there uh, definitely if it is visible we can use it but if it is not visible that's the entire uh, uh, environment is not visible definitely it is very difficult to use reinforcement learning in that case the next one is uh, time consuming operations uh, Again, it is as simple as that because uh, we use this reinforcement learning in designing games, robots and all. Uh, there were a lot of uh, states are possible in uh, real world environment and there will be a lot of actions are possible for each and every state over here. So because there were a lot of states are there as well as uh, multiple number of actions are there for each and every state, it will become very difficult for us to select which action to be considered for the next one and so on. So that's the reason it will take a lot of time here and because of this it will become a very complex uh, what you can say that the algorithm in this case. Coming back to the applications of uh, reinforcement learning. The reinforcement learning is used in many applications uh, almost every domain we can use this particular thing. So some of them I have listed over here we can use reinforcement learning in industrial automation for making uh, automated uh, the design process or you can say that uh, assembly and all we can use reinforcement learning uh, when you are allocating some resources uh, uh, in a network or in computer uh, you can make use of reinforcement learning and allocate the resources optimally uh, when it comes to traffic uh, light control uh, if you are trying to do it manually you have to look at that particular traffic and then mix ma uh, based on that particular thing you have to turn on the traffic lights and so on but using reinforcement learning we can make sure that uh, where there is a larger traffic where there is a low traffic based on that particular thing we can make uh, the traffic control over here the reinforcement uh, learning can be used in uh, personalized uh, recommendation systems uh, for example when you go through any uh, e-commerce websites or you can say that any video streaming applications whenever you go with one uh, video or uh, purchase one product definitely you will get a lot of recommendations over there so if you want to achieve such kind of things so definitely you can use uh, reinforcement learning in this particular case uh, if you uh, the, the, the reinforcement learning can be used in uh, bidding of for advertisements uh, online uh, advertisements over here the same thing can be used for designing uh, driverless cars and so on these are some of the applications what i have listed over here there were n number of applications or the domains are there where we can use the reinforcement learning in this case so in this video i have discussed uh, what are the characteristics of reinforcement learning what are the challenges uh, we face uh, when we design a uh, reinforcement learning model and where we can use reinforcement learning in general i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching